Hey Fab, welcome back to my channel. My name is Happiness Edna Tony Bones, just in case you were seeing my beautiful face for the first time. Now, before we go straight up into today's video, I have noticed that we have new family members here and i really want to say thank you all so much for subscribing to my channel thank you thank you for all the love thank you for all the support okay so because of that i'll be doing a q and a video right and that q and a video is going to be up two days after this video that i'm filming today so two days after the upload of this video we're going to have the q and a video but then in case there's something you want to know about me, you can please leave it in the comment section in this video so I can... Oh, is there a need? I don't know, but you can still leave it in the comment section. It might not be in the video per se, because after this one, I'll have to film that video right now. So, But then I'm going to answer all of your questions in the comment section. Thank you all so much. I love you and God bless you. Alright, so let's go straight up into today's video. So, here we go um just in case you see me looking down 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 that's because i have my notes here so i already um listed down some things that i'll be talking about in today's video which is about the things you should know before moving to the philippines you guys this is very important this is extremely important so there are a lot of things you need to know before moving into the philippines and that is what i'll be talking about in today's video let's go okay the first thing you need to know about the philippines is this philippines is in asia which means philippines is an asian country it is in southeast asia so the first thing you need to know before moving to the philippines is this philippines is an asian country which means philippines is in southeast asia again philippines is a country in asia so you all that do not really know so much about it will not think that philippines is a continent no it is a country in asia all right and the second point here you need to know about the philippines is this the currency we use here is called pesos yes yeah? so pesos so that's what we use we use pesos here and as of today one pesos is equivalent to i think 50 point something usd so yeah in the philippines they use peso that is the currency they use here peso and as at today one usd which is one dollar is equivalent to 54.29 pesos that is the second thing you need to know about the philippines the third thing you need to know about the philippines is this we have oh okay <laughs> i'm saying we because i mean i'm already in the philippines so i can't be saying they i'm here already right so here in the philippines we have two seasons the dry season and also the wet season right so the dry season is from november to may and the wet season which is like rainy season is from june to october so please don't come here and start expecting snow there is no snow in the philippines there is no snow in the philippines i fell for that because i didn't do my research okay so don't bring winter jacket here because we don't have winter here there is no snow it's just raining season wet season and also the dry season all right okay the next thing you need to know about the philippines is this major schools not which one is major schools most schools here in the philippines wear school uniform i am referring to college or university whatever you call it in your country like in my country we call it university but here they call it college right so as a college student or as a university student you need to wear school uniform so if for example you're coming to study here you're coming to take up medicine and you're like 30 something years old or 40 something you're going to wear school uniform most of the schools here wear school uniform the only time you do not you do not wear school uniform is maybe um on fridays like in my school university of san augustine we had a day where we don't wear school uniform and that was on fridays but from monday to thursday you have to wear your school uniform so if you're coming to study here just put it in your mind that you're going to wear what school uniform yes 
The next thing you need to know about the Philippines is this. As a working, sorry, as, as a student, you're not allowed to work. You can work online, but having major works in companies is not allowed because you're either working or you're studying. So you can't study and work at the same time, right? So as a student, you cannot have a major job like other European countries. No, no, it's not being done here. You're either studying or working, but you can get jobs online. Yeah, you can get jobs online. That's it. So the next thing you need to know about the, 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 the Philippines is this. Means of transportation here in the Philippines are, they have, we have taxis, we have um, jeepneys, we have tricycles, we have bikes, and the major companies for bikes are Jeride and Ankars. I love using bike here because that's my next point. So we use bikes here. We also use taxis. If you have a private car, that's good to go. And what else? They also have bus and also trains. So tricycles, jeepneys, bus, train, um, what's it called? Which other one? taxis your private car bikes yeah so those are the major means of transportation here in the philippines and my next point which is what you need to know before coming to the philippines is this major countries in sorry major cities in the philippines have traffic there is traffic for example Metro Manila is the capital of the Philippines, right? And this is one of the biggest cities here in the Philippines. And trust me, you all, there is traffic. Not when you leave the airport and you enter a taxi and then you see the traffic, you're like, oh, baby, oh. I'm bringing your mind right now that there is traffic here in the Philippines, especially in Metro Manila. The traffic here is mad. And that is the reason why I'm always so grateful for means of transportation like bikes like anchors and joyride because almost when you're <laughs> sorry because <laughs> when you're like when you have an appointment you cannot trust me you can't afford to use a taxi going there especially when it's rush hour because the traffic is crazy so it's best to go with bikes but if you don't want to use a bike you can use a taxi but just make sure you leave at least one hour before your time you schedule okay so there is traffic in major cities like metro manila the next thing you need to know about the philippines is this locals are very welcoming and hospitable and i'm talking from experience because i lived in iloilo city which is the western part of um, visayas and you all the locals there are extremely hospitable they are hospitable. Trust me, they are hospitable. And the next thing you know about the Philippines is the Philippines is affordable. Trust me, Philippines is really affordable. Oh, oh, oh! I'm so sorry about that noise. <laughs> Philippines is extremely affordable. It is affordable compared to other countries. Because if your if you convert your means of living here in the philippines to usd you would realize that it is really affordable staying here it is affordable but it's more affordable staying in the province provinces are more cheaper like more affordable than staying in major cities like metro manila Davao, and the rest right so if you want like a very simple life then just go look for a place in the province you would, you would enjoy it because the locals like i said earlier the locals they are very um friendly and hospitable the next thing you need to know about the philippines is the philippines has over 7164 islands so there are over 7164 islands and these are beautiful attractions for tourists so if you're thinking of a place where you could just go enjoy the beach and many more philippines is where you should be because they have a lot of beautiful islands i haven't visited all of it i visited um Burakai and which one? Gimaras and Iloilo and what else? I haven't visited much. Imagine that there are 7,164 islands in the Philippines and I've not even visited like a quarter 
or even half of it just i think i've visited just four of it for you all there are a lot of beautiful places to visit here in the philippines one of it is palawan i've heard a lot about it and i'm looking forward to visiting there before i leave this country by god's grace yeah so the next thing you need to know about the philippines is this not everybody speaks english trust me i've seen this a lot online and people would say this that in the philippines uh, they speak you guys, not everybody here speak English, so I don't know who's going to put all of those stuff online or tell people that, but it's not true. Some of them understand, some of them can speak, but not all Filipinos can speak English. Instead, they understand more and speak more of their national language, which is Tagalog. But then, trust me when I say, not every Filipino here speak English or really deeply understand so please don't come thinking that philippines is a english english country per se it's not really an english country trust me not everybody here know how to speak english speaking from experience i've experienced this red hand from school on the road in the market different places yeah so not everybody here knows how to speak english the next thing you want to know about the philippines before visiting is this Philippines is known as a Catholic um, country, which is their religion here is mainly Catholicism, right? So just have that in your mind. So Philippines is known as a Catholic country, which is their religion here is majority Catholicism, which is their religion here is mainly Catholicism, right? Catholics. So they have more Catholics here in the Philippines than Muslims okay so i hope this helped oh no sorry and the last but not the least this is like the main one trust me, this is the main one the last thing you want to know before moving to the philippines is to make your research do your research i did research before coming because i had people helping out with the process and every other thing right so please do your research so you don't fall into the hands of scammers or you don't fall into the hands of the wrong people please make your research and so that when you see um when you see some things so that when you see some things you don't like you will know that oh 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 oh, oh. I, I researched about this and i saw this online or oh, i saw this okay so please make your research thorough research before coming over to the philippines i hope this video helped you leave a comment in the comment section for more things that you think people should know before moving to your country if you're completely watching this video or as a foreigner what do you think people should know before moving here or are you planning to move to the philippines and you have some questions please leave it in the comment section i'll be watching out for them thank you all so much for watching and i appreciate you god bless you and kisses